Hello, I'm Dr. Lawrence Publicova from the School of English at the University of Leeds. I work mainly on Renaissance drama, including Shakespeare, with a particular interest in literature and the sea. Uh, the question I'm going to be asked, answering today is how, if at all, does Shakespeare manage to persuade us that his characters are using real speech? Well, let me begin by saying something crushingly obvious, which is that, unlike the majority of Shakespeare's characters, real people in Shakespeare's time didn't speak in verse. They certainly spoke in an English that had a different vocabulary to the one we speak now, but equally certainly, they didn't go around speaking in blank verse, that is, in the unrhymed iambic pentameter that lays the foundations for Shakespeare's plays. So does Shakespeare even try to persuade us that his characters are using real speech? Well, it's actually quite a complex question. I think I'd want to begin by stating that all Shakespearean speech, whether it's prose or verse, is artificial. Not necessarily in the pejorative sense of being something painfully or depressingly fake, but artificial in the sense of something crafted, something artful. It might help to begin by thinking about the setting within which Shakespeare's language is spoken. In his own time, Shakespeare's plays were staged in three main locations, in large outdoor amphitheatres, such as the Curtain or the Globe, at the smaller and more expensive indoor playhouses, the Blackfriars, and at court. But when we think of Shakespeare's plays being performed in his own time, we quite rightly think primarily of the first of these categories, the large outdoor playhouses. This is roughly what they would have looked like. This is a, um, a contemporary sketch of another theatre from this period, the Swan, and this is a, a photograph of the modern rebuilding of the Globe, uh, the interior of it, which opened in Bankside um, in 1997 in London. Now, possibly the most important thing about these kinds of theatres, and the reason I bring the playing space to your attention, is that they allow actors to create a particular kind of dramatic illusion. If you studied theatre at all, you may have heard of the expression, breaking the fourth wall. This refers to the process by which actors break or dismantle the, the notional wall that stands between the, wor uh, the world of the audience and the world of the play. For when we go to the theatre, on the whole, we pretend that the actors can't see us. In a sense, we pretend that we're not there, and we sit in the dark to help create this feeling. In the theatres in Shakespeare's time, things were very different. For one thing, these plays would have been put on in the afternoon, around 2pm, in broad daylight. The playgoers could all see one another. And more than this, the playgoers made up an important part of the playgoing experience. 